Welcome to Electron Online. Typically we take volume integrals of scalar functions, but it could also be that we're supposed to take a volume integral of a vector function or a vector field. Well, what does that look like? Well, it turns out it looks very similar because, and you'll see in just a moment, so notice we have potentially a vector field times the dv, that's the volume element, we take an integral of that, and so essentially we take the vector field and we subdivide it into its x, y, and z components. And then we're able to break it out into three separate integrals because the x unit vector, the y unit vector, and the z unit vector can actually be pulled outside the integral. Why is that? Because x, y, and z unit vectors are constant. They have the same length, they continue to have the same length, they don't change, and therefore they're constants, they can be taken out. And so essentially, we take the x component times dv, the y component times dv, and the z component times dv of our vector field, and we take the integral three times, and that is how it's done. So just in case you're wondering, this is how we do that. No, it was still rough. Oh, wait a minute. It's close to about a minute. <laughs> <laughs>